the organism does that to charge to make the chemicals at nighttime it glows. The organism only glows during the nighttime. It does not glow during the day. So I'm going to try to take a bottle of this with you home and uh, later on end up trying to uh, glow tomorrow morning or anything like that. Excuse me. I'm a little hot. I know she is too. <laughs> um, the organism is a plankton. It gets pushed around by currents and tides. It really doesn't have a choice of where to go. Luckily, it gets pushed into our bay where different ecosystems help it thrive and we have a high abundance of them. Roughly about a half a million per gallon of water. So we have 160 acres that pretty much glows year round. The only thing that really affects this organism is anything toxic, from insect repellent, perfume, cologne, oil, diesel, gas, spills, anything of that sort does harm this organism, even urine does. So please folks, uh, whatever you do, try not to use the restroom as uh, the bay as a restroom, and try not to spray yourself with any insect repellent, perfume, cologne, nothing of the sort. If you did, and you're going to go swimming, please, if you can rinse yourselves off before you head out, we would greatly appreciate it. Because we're trying to conserve the bait, not destroy it. Okay? Uh, so far, any questions? Is there, did you say there's a place to rinse our off? Sorry? Is there a place to rinse off? Yeah, there's a small spigot outside right in this corner, and there's a hose at the far end of the building, right around the garage. Okay. You can rinse yourself from head to toe if you want, however you like. Very good appreciate it. Okay. Any other questions so far? Bumpy bus ride? Yes, it's a bumpy bus ride, especially if you're sitting towards the back of the bus. But we'll make sure we leave at least one space for you. Anybody here pregnant? Or maybe pregnant? Yeah, we all are, don't worry. <laughs> Anybody um, have back problems of any sort that they might? We, we got you the front seat, don't worry. So please, at least clear one seat. Do not sit uh, either behind the driver or on the opposite side. So this young lady uh, can sit there. All right, folks. Uh, other than that, whoever likes the bumpier school bus ride can sit towards the back of the bus. If you want a little smoother, the farther forward the best. But the back is a very bumpy, bumpy ride, no doubt about it. You might enjoy it. It's like a roller coaster. That's part of the adventure part of Island Adventures. I told you. That's half of the event. Yes, ma'am. The, the bus ride about uh, 12 to 15 minutes, depending on how crazy the bus driver is. I'll make sure he takes it nice and tall for you guys. So it doesn't destroy you. You come back here? You're not coming back here. Okay. Like I said earlier, so this is your last chance to use restrooms here. You won't have restrooms until you get back on that big uh, bumpy boat ride that you were on earlier. I don't know if it was bumpy or not. It was. Uh, yeah. Usually it is, that's why I say um, And no gift shop once you leave here, so if you want anything, that would be the time to get it. Uh, right when I finish here. Any other questions so far? Okay, the organism is also a produce because it has two characteristics, plant and animal. Animal are these two tails that take locomotion that helps it move up and down the water. It's really supposed to be one on the back and one on the side, but the artist is an artist, not a biologist, so we couldn't do nothing about his rendering there. Uh, but luckily, he got pretty much the main idea of it. Uh, that's the animal characteristics. It's plant characteristics is what I told you earlier that it feeds off the sun. The organism uses those tails to move up and down looking for that sunlight during the daytime mainly so, it, so it's able to charge you know because these organisms are found roughly the first 15 feet of water luckily the deepest point in our bay is roughly about 15 feet where y'all are going to go swimming today it's going to be about 10 feet but uh i know i have at least one child under 12 right how old are you buddy yeah, all right can you hear that nine well these two folks will be giving you life jackets or you already have one it seems like you have one too no right all right, so we'll be giving you all life You must wear it all the time on the boat, in the water, and even when you come out of the water, <laughs> we get to the shoreline. All the adults must wear flotation belts. If you don't know how to swim too well, they can give you two, however you like. Um, if you want more, they can tie a few on your head, <laughs> on your toes, however you like. Any questions, you can ask your guys, they'll help you out extra if any. Um, the organism is in a high abundance in our bay because nothing really kills it here, luckily. Other than maybe you tourists that might take a few with you, because guaranteed they'll be in your bathing suit, and if you eat the water or anything of that sort, then you'll kill a few. But other than that, since they have a high reproduction rate, how they reproduce is by a process called mitosis, single cell division. Every, every two or three days, one organism will split in a process called, uh, in a, a process that they split into a twin or a duplicate of itself. So imagine one organism will split into two, two or three days later, those two will split into four, so on and so forth. 
Y no llegaron a la bahía. Um, sorry, folks. So that's why we have a higher abundance. It's really nothing that kills it. They'll be talking to you about the different ecosystems out there that help it thrive. I'll point them out to you. Uh, there's an illustration on the wall of the bay itself. There's a coral reef outside that calms the first set of waves, so there's not a lot of pressure of water coming in, luckily. And so there's not a lot of pressure coming out. So we only have a, a tide of about a 